I'm glad to see you back on the Safari Channel. Beautiful blue skies, but let me tell you, it is bitterly cold. And today we're in the Madikwe Game Reserve, which is right on the western side of South Africa, bordering Botswana. In this video, we're going to have a look at an animal that's very often portrayed as a villain. And then also, I often get asked the question, which animal am I most wary of? We're going to have a look at that as well. Let's go. I'm going to park up right here. Let's see. I think the hyenas are going to walk straight into us. What is this guy up to? So these are spotted diners. And if you look closely, you see these two in front of the car? Uh, they're a little bit dark in color. That means they are still youngsters. They normally get a little bit light in color and you see the spots a bit easier. Just look at this one. Now that you'll see the spots more clearly when uh, they get a bit older. Just sit here. Just sit still, you're good. Hey, you cheeky. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That sound you heard. There was that other one actually biting the car's tires. Here come some of the adults from the left. And you see what I mean? Look, you can see a light in color. And now you can see the spots more clearly. See the giraffes in the background? Curious puppy. All right, bye, off you go. We'll see you later. Now that is a bit better. Just too cold outside. Now, as I mentioned, hyenas are very often seen as these sinister villains and in a certain way I can see why because they're always around death carcasses where they scavenge and there's a lot of African folklore that also surrounds hyenas but as you can see in the video they're actually super intelligent animals and also remember hyenas do not only scavenge they're also very successful hunters now let's move on to the animal that I've got the most respect for when doing safaris on foot and that is your dagger boy Yes, you heard right, called a dugger boy, but let me explain a bit further. There we go, that's your Cape Buffalo, aka dugger boys, or I also like calling them the grumpy old men. Now you will most often find buffalo, what you call mixed herds, so there's bulls and cows and youngsters all together. But when these guys get over their primes, I'm not talking about these bulls, when they get over the prime of their life, they get worked out of the, the mixed herd by the stronger bulls. And then they start walking on their own or with other dugger boys. Now where does the whole dugger boy thing come from? Dugger is the Zulu word for mud. And look at this guy, he's completely covered in mud. Now, very similar to the male of the human species, these old guys very often start losing their hair, and that mud covers them, protects them against sunburn, and also it, it smooths the aches and pains a little bit. And because they now have to fend for themselves, they get very sly and wary and a little bit ill-tempered on top of that. Come join the tribe, subscribe and push greetings from our side.